So are you feeling uninspired or getting bored of your current style selection? Or are you just looking for some new sounds, new presets to use that not a lot of people are using? Then make sure to watch this video, man. Trust me. Because over the past few months in my comment section, DMs everywhere, I've gotten hundreds of compliments and questions about my sound selection. The Durky is in the chat. Shout out to you. I'm excited to hear this. Hold on, I don't even want to let the drums drop. You know his sound selection is crazy. You know his drums go crazy. People asking me what plugins I use, what presets I use, how I manipulate my sounds, etc. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a VST that I recently purchased that completely transformed my sound selection and I don't see anyone using it. Whether you're an experienced producer or you're just starting out, you've most likely heard of this right here. Omnisphere. And don't get me wrong, Omnisphere is great. It's probably the most popular, most used VST in the entire producer community. But I don't know, even though Omnisphere has over 14,000 sounds in, I feel like all the presets have been used already. And since I really enjoy using Omnisphere, I decided to dive deeper into the company that actually created Omnisphere. And that is how I came across Unclean Machine, built by Spectrosonics. Unclean Machine is one of five sonic extensions that were introduced by Spectrosonics back in 2021. And of those five extensions, they say each one is focused on one certain aesthetic. And since Unclean Machine stood out to me the most, I'm only going to be talking about unclean machine in today's video the concept of today's video is simple as you can see i got unclean machine opened up within omnisphere right here and i'm not gonna get too in depth into the presets the features all of that y'all can look that up yourselves so i'm gonna be making a beat completely from scratch only using unclean machine for the sample and i'm gonna be explaining the entire process from making the sample to laying down the drums but before we get into that quick disclaimer this video is not sponsored in any way i pay for this vst by myself with my own money that's it man Let's get it. I got this extension about a month ago, by the way, and just look at how many presets uh, there are. I haven't even checked out all of them, but so far, every single preset that I've heard has been usable, so that's good. Let's go for 162 BPM. Let's start out on F minor. Let's see what preset we're going to start out with. start out with that and i'm thinking since the preset is sounding very snappy uh, i'm gonna lay down a bunch of chords that hit right after each other very fast see what i mean like very snappy right after each other Woo. It loops perfectly. It has some bass notes under it. It has some lower frequencies to it. Random massive velocities a little bit. Let's switch up the root notes at the end right here. Move it down to C sharp and to C maybe. Kind of makes it sound a little bit more unique. You feel me? As y'all know, start off with the EQ just to clean it up before putting other effects on it. Lower some of these harsh frequencies. Some compression. Open up super plate for the reverb. Sounds very good in my opinion. Something like that. And sometimes you don't need a lot of effects. EQ, compression, reverb. That's it. For the next element, I'm thinking something in the lower frequencies to really complement this melody so that the entire frequency spectrum is kind of filled up. Sounds good as well. Follow the root notes. So I think it would sound cool if we shelve this right here with an EQ. Let's try padding it to the left. Let's open up Shaper Box and try side chaining it. Just a subtle accent. Next time I just look for a preset that I like and I'm gonna just try to blend it into the sample. And I think we could do to make it easy for ourselves is to copy this main melody over and just copy it into the new patch. Hold on. Now that's tough. Nah, 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 hold on. 
Let's get that organized and render it out into an audio clip. And I think it sounded cool pan to the right. Oh, that's a hard preset, bro. Bring out some of the presence. I'm thinking some distortion will kind of make it pop out even more to really boost that message that the strings are trying to tell, you feel me? Yeah. That's perfect. It's sounding a little busy in my opinion, so I'm gonna chop some parts out like this. Make sure this is on generic. And to really blend it into the sample, I'm gonna open up the same reverb preset um, to kind of glue it all together. That's what I mean, bro. Like, every single preset is usable, you feel me? Like, we can find some other presets because this shit sounded too hard. The basic pad, man. I feel like this shit will sound good. Add some saturation to it. It's perfect. Once again, it's just one note, but if it sounds good, it sounds good. Don't get too distracted by how it looks. Next, I really want to pan this out. I'm gonna tuck this in the back a lot. Open up some reverb on it. Like that. Like, you don't really notice it until you take it out. Feel me? Right, so we're still missing some low end in the sample, in my opinion. So I'm gonna look for a preset that kind of adds a low end to it that I'm looking for. getting kind of muddy so let's space these out like this render those out like that EQ it a little bit it's perfect to add in the bridge or something I know we usually don't add uh, reverbs to basses but let's see that's kind of cool so as for now, the sample sounded pretty full already, so I think I'm gonna add some drums to it, and we might add something later on when arranging the beat, but for now, we're done with the sample. I'm right, as for the drums, of course, y'all want y'all drums to hit, y'all want y'all drums to be loud and sound good. So in today's beat, we're gonna use the best drum kits on the market right now. We'll use my Avicen drum kit and Brooks Season drum kit. The only drum kits I use when making my beats, used by industry producers, billboard producers, y'all name it. First link down in the description if you want to get yourself a copy. Let's get it. Thank you for today's beat, I want to start out with the 808, so I'm gonna copy over the root notes of the main melody to stay in key. Go for our spins, man. Make sure this is uh, turned up all the way. Uh, if y'all haven't seen my new mixing video yet, it should pop up in one of the quarters, so make sure to go check that out if you're circling with your mix after watching this video, man. Mm. Fuck with that. I'm gonna lay down the hi-hat and the snare. Let's go to my rook season drum kit. Use this one. Next I'm gonna add some rolls to the hi-hat so add even more bounce to it.
bell never hurt nobody All right, that right there is Unclean Machine. And if after watching this video, you're interested in checking out Unclean Machine yourself, I'm gonna leave a link down to it in the description down below. And like always, I hope you learned something from today's video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. We're this close on hitting 40K on the channel, so it really means a lot. And that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. So I'm gonna catch you on the next one. I'm out.